you on your journey to Hobbiton. I'm very, very pleased to be able to go over to Dale It's great when you're making a movie, everything is so temporary. The film survives, but the sets and the costumes and the props that you make, they, they all just get thrown away. And so I'm delighted that Hobbiton has managed to survive, and I'm really pleased that you're taking the time to visit us, and I hope that you enjoy yourself. It's been years ago that we were flying around in a helicopter and found the Alexander Farm from the air and it, uh, for some reason from the air it looked right and when we landed it was absolutely perfect as I'm sure you'll see for yourselves. So thank you very much to the Alexander family for their brilliant support over the years and especially to Russell um, who has been the greatest business partner to have and uh, as you'll see yourself doing a fantastic job making you very welcome. So thank you and enjoy yourselves. From the entire Alexander family and everyone here on set, we're thrilled to have you. Your tour starts with a journey through about 1,250 acres of working sheep and beef farms. Just these rolling green hills that attract the location scouts way back in 1998. After the completion of filming The Lord of the Rings in 2000, the set was torn down on the next year. It's a little more than a sheep tail. So when Peter and his team returned for The Hobbit, seized the opportunity to partner up and rebuild the city permanently. <laughs> 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 it's been an incredible journey, one we're proud to share with you today. Enjoy. <laughs> Sorry So guys, this is a uh, New Zealand roadblock. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> that one there looks like you can't see. So guys, fun fact for you all, these sheep here, uh, they're actually bred primarily for their meat, secondarily for their wool. It's actually too coarse for us to wear, so it does get sent uh, over to China. Uh, it gets made into carpet and then we buy it back. Um, and these sheep here are actually bred to have twins. That's uh, very uncommon for these sheep to actually have only one lamb. Look at them, they're huge. huge. Alright, so guys, um, of course you saw Sir Peter Jackson, the director of the films, and uh, the man himself, Russell Alexander. Um, so yeah, when they came here and uh, they were talking about the original uh, contracts, Russell was the one that sort of pioneered the tourism side of things. Uh, when they came back to film the Hobbit trilogy, the Alexander family uh, actually said, Hey guys, if you are coming back, I do need you to build everything permanently and then leave it here when you are done. And that is exactly what you guys are going to see today. So as we make our way up the hillside, make sure you're taking a look out over to the right. You'll get a sneak peek preview of the movie set. So coming into view, the back of the thatched roof water Are we all getting excited? Yeah. That's not excited at all. <laughs> Are we all getting excited? Yeah. yeah! Perfect. To the right of that, the double arch stone bridge. And the reason why you should be excited is the last building. That is the Green Dragon in the pub. Now if you guys are all a nice loud tour for Jake, when you get to the pub, we get you guys all a beer. Sound good? Yeah. And my lovely girl just behind me, get you a beer too, all right? No discrimination, everyone gets a beer. All right, so um, the 